Hello, I'm Sonic. We will learn about polynomial equations. Part 1 There are four types of equations, single variable equation, quadratic equation, cubic equation, and biquadratic equation. Let's start with single variable equation. Here, x can have only one variable, like x minus 1 equals 0. So, x is equal to 1. Next, the quadratic equation, where x can have two variables, one on the left has a degree of 2, and on the right has a degree of 0, equal to 1. In general, we write ax squared, plus bx, plus c, equal to 0. We can find this in two ways of x either by discriminate of roots, or sum, and product of roots. In discriminate we follow three cases, if x is greater than 0, then the roots are real. If x is equal to 0, then the roots are equal and real. And if x is less than 0, then the roots are imaginary. We therefore write discriminate in square root. x equals, minus b, plus or minus, square root of discriminate, we write b squared, minus 4ac, divided by 2a. This will find two variables on plus, and minus on the other. And in sum and product of roots, we write, alpha plus beta, equals minus b by a. And, if you write a product, then alpha multiplied by beta, equals c by a. Then you can find the roots of a quadratic polynomial equation. Next, the cubic equation where x can have three variables. We write ax cubed, plus bx squared, plus cx, plus d, equal to zero. Well, this can be a lot trickier. We will prove this with the help of an example. Let's say, x has three variables, one, two, and three. We can form this as a cubic equation. First of all, write in parenthesis, x minus one, x minus two, and x minus three, equal to zero. Multiplying them up, we get a cubic polynomial equation of x cubed minus 6x squared minus 7x minus 6 equal to zero. One thing you can solve by roots of equation. We have sum of roots, now we have a third root of gamma equal to minus b by a, which is 6. Product of two consecutive roots equals c by a, which is minus 7, and product of three consecutive roots, alpha, beta, and gamma, we therefore equal to minus d by a, which is 6. Thus, when you solve it, this will have three roots of 1, 2, and 3. We'll leave another method for the next part. Finally, the biquadratic equation, where x has a degree of 4. We write ax to the fourth, plus bx cubed, plus cx squared, plus dx, plus e, equal to 0. As we seen from the previous section of cubic equation, you can now add a new root, delta, then you can do the same thing. In case, I only ask about the n number of roots, where x has a degree of n. We write, a 1x to the n exponent, plus a 2x to the n minus 1 exponent, plus a 3x to the n minus 2 exponent, and so on, till a of n minus 1 times x, plus a n, equal to 0 you will get n possible distinct roots. So, see you on the next part. Like, comment, and subscribe now on YouTube.